TV tray. A TV tray? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you guys are doing awesome. As you can see, we flew into Anchorage here this morning. Um, on my way to Antioch, Alaska, so I had to catch the early flight out of Fairbanks. I had to go do some work. Uh, now, Antioch is, um, it's, it's not really a village. It's sort of like that tweener. I guess it's technically a city. So Antioch is population 500, so it's a little bit larger than some of the smaller villages that I've taken you to in the past. Head out there for work, see if we can fix their air handlers and their boilers. Um, the funny thing is I'm going out today as an employee because if you remember, um, I sold or we sold GRS controls here about six weeks ago. So I'm going out working for the people that used to work for me about six weeks ago. Pretty funny, good times, but I'm gonna go catch some neat real quick and then probably try to find a place to lay down for a couple hours before my next flight. Again, hope you guys are doing great. Thought I'd bring you guys along with me to uh, Antioch, Alaska. I have never been there. Should be a good time. We'll go check it out. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. some stuff uh, I'm gonna probably send you back home check on the family see how they're doing I'm gonna be here for a long time and I'll check in with you guys in a bit maybe give you guys a tour show you what Antioch is like here uh, whenever I get all the emergency stuff taken care of and yeah go from there Fantastic. Bit of an over cloudy, casty day today, but warm nonetheless. Not any, like, no smoke. We've been getting some rain. Such a huge, huge blessing. As you guys have probably seen, my babe is in Antioch. Antioch, Alaska. Did I know that existed before he went and did a job there? Absolutely not. I think it's population, like, maybe 500 or so very very small um, But he's got a little job that he's got to finish up there um, Pretty much the last job that he is responsible for for being the owner of GRS controls Which you guys know that we sold Holy moly it kills I still can't believe it babe is off and away from the old house here I do not like it when he goes out of town you guys know this and he's on tiny planes and all the things but that's okay. Uh, his phone does not work there, but he does have um, what we call the bush phone. 
because um, it actually works in a lot of the remote villages, which I'm super grateful for, so he can at least touch base every so often. I try not to bug him because I know he's under a tight timeline. Uh, he's running on very, very little sleep, so I just kind of like wait and he can check in with me like at night or whenever is convenient for him. So, well, I know you guys have seen the, when we did the grocery shopping video in Homer, Alaska, and you know how we kind of talk, even like most of our shopping videos, we talk about, you know, how are prices fluctuating? How are things changing? When we see them changing at these, you know, bigger cities, bigger places in our area, we know that the villages, the tiny little cities are being affected tremendously because it already is normally fairly expensive to get stuff to these locations let alone when prices of fuel goods services are all like this remember back when my babe went to um, Barrow which is at the very tippity top of Alaska 24 pack of water costs like $40 fly that in is just astronomical so he's in Antioch right now and I'm sure he's gonna take you around show you around the city i think it might be just big enough to be classified a city and not a village and then probably do like show you what their grocery situation is looking like because you know we like to do that to show you all because it's just crazy even for people locals like us it's just crazy the vast amount of differences across the state this inflation all the skyrocketing numbers are just affecting these places astronomically and it's like Holy moly, how do these people even, like, wh what wages are they making there to be able to afford to live there? So, hopefully he'll be able to fill you in a little bit more, get some details, talk to some local folks, and just seeing what it's looking like. Seeing what it's looking like in that area. So, anyway, I just thought I'd touch base. We're just kind of taking it. Relaxful day today. Uh, but yeah, anyway, popping on, saying hi, touching base. I hope my babe's doing fantastic. Hang in there, babe. He's gonna be gone for a little stint. Not not super long, but uh yeah, hopefully he'll be able to finish it all up, feel confident about his work and and wrap her up. So anyway, let's send it on back to him and see how he's doing. minor tweaks when you start up um, a building that has all this advanced stuff in it so fighting through you know airflow transmitters and there's some pumps with some uh, lower system pressure so the plumbers are trying to figure out some leaks getting a lot less airflow out of this air handler so trying to see if we can adjust some tweaks to be able to get it to run it keeps tripping out on its overloads so the power is a little bit weird out here in remote areas of Alaska I think that's the culprit but I'm gonna send it off to the engineers, let them make the final call, but whew, it's been busy. I think we're winning. I think I might actually go take you guys on a quick tour, uh, show you what Antioch looks like here. General take here on Antioch is, it's a lot larger than some of the uh, um, other villages that I've been to. A lot of the times when we go to you know, remote villages, they're somewhere between 100 to 200 population. This one's 500. So although this is technically a city, that's probably why. So small city, large village, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, I'll show you what they've got here. Let's go check on fuel prices. See what they're paying out here. You gotta remember, most of the stuff is all uh, flown in here. I think their fuel, they probably barge. Also, I've noticed they have a lot of vehicles here. A lot of times when you go to smaller villages, they don't really have vehicles. They have, uh, you know, four wheelers or they'll have like side by side, uh, you know, ranger type um, ATVs, but so they must, be able to barge vehicles in here, which is pretty cool. Although, just like the smaller villages we've been to, Antioch is really nice people, and you can just tell. Like, every time you drive by, people wave. Uh, and when you go to places like this, I always feel like it almost takes you back in time, you know, 100 years, even though, like, you know, we're dealing with all this crazy stuff here. But as just far as the general feeling, everything just slows way down. And, you know, we've talked about Anchorage 
feel like a fast place, you know, fast paced city in Alaska and like how we like North Pole is a little bit more lower, low key and a lot slower moving. Well, North Pole is a really fast moving city compared to, you know, a place like Antioch where everything is just pretty chill. And, you know, uh, sometimes the flight might come, it might not come. What I've noticed too in these remote areas of Alaska is people are very grateful and they don't seem to complain much. Uh, because things are hard to get here, they're very expensive here. When you do have something, you appreciate it. it. Seems like you appreciate a lot of the small things here, which is something simple. Like if someone gives you a bottle of water here, like you know, in a lot of places you get a bottle of water. Like all right, thanks. Maybe, maybe I'll take it. Maybe I won't. Here you probably would because I don't know what bottled water cost here, but it's probably ten times what you pay for bottled water. So you appreciate it, right? You appreciate a lot of the small things that you have, and when you don't have much, and I don't know. I just that's just kind of the general feel I get when I come to uh, remote places like this that are off the road system is you know people appreciate what they have and they tend to be very nice if you ever do come to visit um, you know like some villages in Alaska just just be very nice and respectful I will tell you that because the people are normally very nice and respectful to you but you know they've been here for hundreds or even thousands of years generations so just trying to remember I'm trying to remember that I think is important. So, all right, let me go and show you guys a quick tour here around Antioch, and then I'm gonna get back to work, and hopefully I can get this done before uh, the flight comes. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush trying to get everything done, meet you know, all the deadlines. A um, couple things, when you're out here in the villages, it's interesting, they're always right in the river, right? Because there's always like a food source, uh, which is pretty important, especially with a lot of the prices you're seeing on food. In fact, a lot of us, you know, we'll, we'll do sport fishing or we'll do sport hunting, but out in places like this, uh, it's more about just food hunting and food fishing just because uh, it's just really hard to get things here right so you kind of just go out and you harvest your own meat also something interesting they have like 50 firefighters here there's still a couple staying right here at the school to go and fight all these surrounding forest fires it sounds like they've got them under control the weather's helping out somewhat not sure the status on this particular place as far as the alcohol goes but just keep in mind if you guys ever do come out and you visit uh, don't bring any kind of alcohol unless you have checked the local laws because you have three different types you have dry damp and wet when it comes to alcohol and I think they can change depending on how they vote in so uh, just double check on that it's kind of interesting because the local communities they will they will vote on whether it's legal to have alcohol here or not and uh, so just keep that in mind it's easy to forget when we live in like uh, the cities the big cities the small cities when we're having all this high inflation we're having high fuel prices and all the things that are hitting our pocketbooks right now. Imagine how much more it's magnified out in remote areas of Alaska like this. I showed you guys fuel prices earlier. What was it, eight or nine dollars a gallon? And I believe that's actually older prices. I'm gonna guess they're probably going up because usually they barge fuel in. So the next lot's probably gonna even be more money, which is horrible. 
because it is so tight and expensive to live out here uh, and now it's just gonna be worse for these guys. So they're having a bit of a hard go. And so, I mean, you could, you could just say, well, why don't you just move somewhere where it's cheaper? But a lot of these, you know, remote areas of Alaska, when you have the, the natives, they've, they've lived here for hundreds, like I said, or even thousands of years, generations. Ask them to move away from their ancestral land because they can't afford their heating fuel or can't afford to live is just horrible. So I pray that things turn around um, on the energy costs because places like this are really, really affected by it. Seeing a lot of firewood stacked up, uh, they're, they're, planning on, they're planning on a tight winter. So anyway, it's easy to forget those things when we live in the luxuries like we do, uh, where we have access to a lot of things and they're a lot less expensive. Um, I'm gonna attempt to do a shopping video. I don't know if I'll be able to make it work because the store is closed right now. Um, actually, there's two stores here. One's closed and the other one uh, is gonna open a little bit, but I'm not sure how big it is, but maybe I'll try to show you guys some prices in the next video or in a couple videos. We'll see what it fits in. All right, get back to work. You guys are awesome. And uh, let me go to send you home, see how the family's doing, check on them, and then I'm gonna go to get in a plane and roll out of here. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest, it's way later. <laughs> It's way later. Uh, essentially, I ran. I ran a lot. That's what I my evening essentially consisted of, was running. Yeah, I was just running. It took me a long time to get done some of my mileage that I wanted to do. And uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. Made hamburger, rice, and green meats for dinner. Didn't film squat. <laughs> I think I get like in a zone. I'm just like space out and forget what I'm doing. And I'm just like, and I'm focusing, 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 and I sometimes forget to grab the camera. Anyway, worked my garden a bit today, which was needed and fun. I love working outside. Abe is doing good. I touched base with him, so that's awesome. He's killing it, doing all the things. He even filmed a little shopping video there, guys, and he said the experience was awesome. Um, super, super tiny store, but You'll have to wait. You'll have to wait and see when when we do that one because he said it was pretty awesome. Some fun stuff that's coming up soon. Um, we have family camp that's getting ready to come down the pike. We're gonna go spend four days out at Birch Lake as a family um, with some friends, church friends, things like that. So that should be a good time. It's gonna be busy. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to prep for. Amongst with my running and everything today, I actually have been working lots on Alaskan apparel things. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so stinking excited. I know I've been getting messages um, about when our next launch is gonna be, and it's gonna be hopefully soon, hopefully soon, but it's slowly but surely coming along. Yeah, no, it's gonna be coming soon. I'm super, super excited. I hope you guys are too. I've been giving little sneak peeks here and there in some of my uh, previous videos, but anyway, I have been working on that today. We stayed home all day and just kind of puttered around, did things, and ran a whole bunch, so. Sorry I didn't vlog. Anyway, I think we're gonna call it a night. But yeah, I think we're gonna call it a night. Garrett has come out. It's late. It's late, it's 11.31. It's very, very late. So I think we should shut it down and go to bed. Yes? Daddy will be home tomorrow. Really? Yeah, do you miss him? Yeah. Yeah, we miss him a lot. You enjoyed, don't know really what it was, cause I totally dropped the ball over here. <laughs> We got a lot of things coming down the pike. We're getting a crazy things, all the things. School's gonna start soon, I've been working on that. Yeah, he's excited. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Three, two, one. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. Beep, beep. Love you, Good night.